Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with the Dragalia Lost. What? That's not what it's called. I'm back with Dragalia Lost here to do the raid called the Cap... The Caper Caper? The Capped Caper. The Clawful Caper. I was close. I'm going to be grinding this event. I'm going to be playing it a whole bunch. And that's basically all this video is going to do. So I hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like. Uh, it helps me a whole bunch. Uh, comment, tell me how, you, how you've been enjoying the event. Don't really comment about anything I talk about here. If, tell me if you also summoned on the uh, New Year's banner. Because uh, I didn't. Because I have every unit on there but Nobunaga. Um, so I have Mitsuhiri, I have um, Astolfo, and I have... I forget his actual name. Apologies for that. He just reminds me of Astolfo. That's why I mentioned it. I'm just going to create a room. I forget how long it takes for me to actually hit quick play. Um... Metadic uh, and Daikoten, I think is his name. Daikoten? Daikoten? Daikoten. I'll say that's his name. Um, I have- I'm only missing Nobunaga. It just doesn't make sense for me to chase one unit on a unit- on a banner that's featured two other units on it, so... I've chosen not to follow her. Plus, she'll be back for New Year, so I'll summon her there. They are all limited, and from what I can tell, they're all very good still, so... Oh, I forgot to remove this animation. I'll do it on the next run. I mean, I kind of like this animation. Look at him. He's kind of fishing. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Um, but yeah, they. I don't think they need mana spirals, but it would be, definitely be nice if they had them. It's the kind of weird thing about this game now, is I feel like a lot of units I kind of look at and go, I don't really think you need a mana spiral, but at the same time, if you just want to be better, that'd be nice. It's not that they're bad, it's just that there's other units that are better. Which I don't know if that's a good reason to mana spiral. There's some units where it's like, you're not even good for your typing. Um, for your, you weren't good at launch, so you definitely need one. Um, but there's other units that are like, well, you have a purpose still, and you can still do that perfectly fine, so I don't know if you need a mana spiral. But it'd be nice if you got one, is basically what I'm coming down on this. It's basically impossible for this, for the AI to do the stupid fish thing, so I'm not even gonna try. Because no one else is trying. I'll get one fish. No one is even going to get this back fish. He's already dead. Uh, I really hope the new New Year's event, by the way, has a better system than this. Because every single year, for every New Year's event, last year it was, um... Every New Year's, like, has a very special thing where you can get, like, gifts and stuff. Um... The problem is, is that we kill the bosses too fast, and this has always been an issue. It's been an issue since the first New Year's, is that there's always been like a balance between killing the boss quickly and actually killing the boss with full of its effects. And back in like a year ago, it was kind of impossible to kill, to not to get the, uh, the Platinum Prize uh, without killing him, and now it's super impossible to get the prize without killing him. You just kill him so, so damn quick. I mean, look at this power. I mean, I have been able to get it once, but it's with dudes like this where a lower level. Is this person just one person? Because I wouldn't blame him. No? Okay. I'm gonna throw him a dog, so. Let's sing together. CPX. We have Owo. Alright, Owo is just here to completely fuck up our time, so let's go into it. Both those players weren't gonna ready up, and I don't care, so we're gonna go at it. There's literally zero reason to have preparedness for this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> just hit the damn ready button. Um, it helps me at least feel better about hitting ready right away. But we'll know if they were actually ready if we don't lose a disconnection. We didn't. This cat goes fishing. Man, speaking of fishing, and while I'm here just talking and grinding, um, I've been playing through Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I've been enjoying my time with it. I don't think it's... Uh, the greatest so far. I am like 20 hours something in. I've been enjoying it. I've been having a good time with it. Up until I got to the fishing mini game. I think that fishing mini game is probably one of the worst I've ever experienced. I've played through Sonic Adventure multiple times and I would rather play as Big the Cat than to play through the Red Dead Redemption uh, fishing. Um, it is horrible. It is required for one quest. The only way I was able to beat it without going... Because first of all, it's it combines the boringness of fishing, but adds in... Do you remember that Mario Party 1 minigame? Where you 
where you spin in a um, in a circle to get money bags, but you you kill your hands doing it. Um, imagine taking that and then putting it, making it realistic. So now the fish takes fucking forever to actually catch. Um, you're bored doing it. It's not fun. It's not engaging. Uh, and it's required to, con to continue on in the story. Um, so the way I was able to do it is I drowned myself multiple times until I was able to bypass the checkpoint. It was that awful. I was just like, screw it. I'm just gonna kill myself in front of this child. And I thought that was well enough alone, and then later on I learned that there were um, companion missions where you go fishing and you can learn people's backstories by doing it. And I was like, this is... I would understand if it was a one-time thing and you just did it for like, you know, we did it once, we're done, no need to do it anymore. But to make it, like, hide the companion backstory behind it, I think that's shitty. I think that's unbelievably shitty for a game that has been pretty all right up until that point. It like it really damaged my perception of Red Dead Redemption 2. That is how not fun I was having with that damn fishing minigame. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think of if there's ever been like a minigame that has been this bad that made me completely just like turn on something. Because honestly, up until that point. Again, having a great time. I was enjoying a lot of the other mini games because it's really the only one that's like the worst for me. The hunting took a little bit for me to like get red, get used to, but now I kind of understand it, and I'm like, all right, this is kind of fun in its own weird way. Um, dominoes is perfectly fine. Poker is poker. Blackjack is blackjack. But no, for some reason, it was just like infuriating how bad it was. I don't understand. And really, in all the times I've played an open-world game, I've never really had an issue that bad. Um, it's weird. Most mini-games are supposed to just be like this throwaway thing that you can play for a couple seconds and then that, that's it. I don't know why they put so much effort into making a mini-game so unbelievably boring. <laughs> It's like designing one of the worst- it's kind of like Desert Bus. You know that game Desert Bus where you just drive a bus for like 24 hours? And it's realistic bus physics, so you only move at like 20 miles per hour over a certain amount of space to Vegas. Um, it's like that. They made that minigame. They took like that design philosophy of the mundane and they took it to the next level. It's- I don't understand. I don't know. I I felt strongly enough that what Ibisu is fishing reminds me of that. Here. So if you're wondering, like, what does Wookie do when he's not playing his gacha games? The answer is usually I'm watching a video, but if I'm not doing that, I'm doing that. Alright. This dude right here. Did he literally, like, he's gone up significant levels, by the way. Oh wait, no, I think he might have left us. That's a shame. Uh -huh. Let's play. You all right? I've come to help. All right. You heard the lady. All right. I've come to help. I still can't believe Karina talks like that. All right. We're going to beat up the fish. The cat catching fish. It's <laughs> it's very cruel because I know that voice actress is much better at her job than me, but it really does sound like to that to me. All right, everyone. It's like borderline Mo Michael Caine, but like young, young Michael Caine. All right, I'm like, oh, damn. I wanted to go Thor and just completely wail on this cat's nuts for a bit. That's how we're gonna end this video, by the way. Me wailing on this cat's nuts. I flex nuts. The will I've inherited makes me strong. Yeah, you go for it. Nice, nice, nice. All right, one last one. This will be the end of it. Oh, right, I'm here to help. Friends.
I don't know what that means, but sure. Just sitting here in the lobby waiting with my friend. Alright, we come to help. We're gonna beat up this hill governor, right? Ain't that right, Prince? Beat up the big old catfish. The fishing cat, I mean. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry if that's offensive to you, but that's literally what she sounds. Okay, see, I have no problem with his voice. It's like, alright, yeah, that's a. You can't go fishing. Yeah. That, the, that voice looks like this fucking cat who's just dancing around like a jackass. Alright, time to. Alright, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, join me in the next Regalia Laws video. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoy all this cat nut punching. Until next time, everyone. Goodbye!